I just want to take one quick second to talk about my new course called Burn Your Money. Drop a fart in the chat if you are inspired right now. <laughs> many, many, many of you probably may be here because you saw literal billboards. You saw a thousand million ads on Facebook and Instagram. It's called The Art of Living, no G. Over 2.4 million people from around the world came together to admit where we need more in our lives, gain the roadmap to get it from McConaughey, Dean, Tony, Marie, and Trent, and ultimately carry a new perspective with us into the future. So there was a VIP upgrade that they wanted you to get, which started at $47 for the upgrade. You got to be in a private Zoom, get extra Q&A with McConaughey at the end of the event, and you donated 25 meals to Feeding America. So you had to go to a different website to sign up for that. To get that, it is $77 on top of the $64 for the Art of Living Lifetime Bundle, $141 you could pay. So before you even get sold to for six hours, you could spend $141 being ripped off, in my humble opinion. So that's before you even get there. Okay, now the big event is here, the big, the big moment, right? Your face to face with me and I to you. No audio, no audio. Somebody's getting fired now. You're muted, girl, you're muted. No one can hear you. I'm learning so much. Sitting in silence, sitting in silence. So she's talking to nobody. Uh, this is not me, this is what actually happened. So she's just in talking. store for you today oh, and we are there so we excited go. my question is how are you feeling out there i'm Show feeling deaf your body get inside the chat box we've got there's another big part of this there is a fake soundtrack for clapping cheering and laughing so can we commit to staying all day can we commit to going all in can doesn't it feel pretty good to come clean <laughs> yeah then it gets on our porch then it's in our living room. Then it's in our kitchen. And before we know it, we are stepping over shit just to get in bed. Yeah. If you've watched any of these MLM events that have gone on virtually, they have the same crap. It's like the same studio, I'm pretty sure. It's like, does anyone have a fear of death? <laughs> this is the best technical difficulty I've ever seen in my life. Okay. This is the problem starting. Crazy is not being a follower of the culture. Yay. You know, leaders create their own culture. They decide what's right in their heart and soul. You know, in See, I think if you're looking for a sign, this is like satanic. <laughs> the voice is sounding devilish. So I think this is the universe giving us another sign that uh, something's wrong here. Nothing else dragged them away from that. Crazy is I'm going to feed a billion people when I said it originally. But it started with two and then four families and then eight. And, you know, I just hit that goal a few weeks ago of providing a billion meals in eight years because I had no money when I was growing up. So Amen. pretty cool. The awkward cheering. Okay. Okay. Got a sound thing we're fixing up right now. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to bang on some skins and try to stay crazy. Just a second. Okay. <laughs> okay, again, this is live. There's the microphone again on the drums. Ain't no cops coming if you bang them. Ain't no cops coming if you do. Ain't no cops coming if you bang them. Just make sure you ain't wearing your birthday suit. That is how I got arrested. There was nothing wrong with what I was doing. I was banging on my drums three in the morning in my birthday suit. That was proof of my innocence. Cops came in. Oh, man. You got to put on some clothes. We're taking you down. <laughs> Tony, can you speak again? See if you're coming through. I see him. Oh, I don't how's hear. it working? Not great. <laughs> this is a nightmare. He's talking about his getting arrested because he was naked playing bongos and he got arrested. I don't know the details of that completely, but 
He's like, let me bring this up. That'll distract us from the sound problems. There's over 2 million of you guys from 155,000 different countries. I don't know who this lady is. I've never heard of her before. Her name's Carissa, I guess. I think she's associated with Dean. She, to me, appears like a children's television host or something like, hi guys, I'm here to teach you about letters. What does this letter say? Loser. No, sorry. This is actually deeply interactive. So if you're a VIP, give me a wave right now. You're actually on a Zoom call with Matthew McConaughey today. How nuts is that? So nuts. It's only almost like you just paid for it. It's crazy. It's almost like like a transaction was uh, had occurred for $47 plus. If you know where your chat box is, put a finger on the nose, VIPs. If you're on Facebook or you are on YouTube, I'd like you to locate that, that chat box saying, everyone lift your hands up like this and give me a big old wave, okay? Lay your hands on the keyboard. If I had to go to a work event or a corporate event where this is required of me, I would leave. I'd be like, I'm quitting, I'm not doing it. I'm not putting my finger on my nose. I'm 31 years old. <laughs> Stop this nonsense. If you are ready, make some noise. Let's just shake the body out. Shake off the day. Shake off the weekend. Stretch it up to the ceiling. Lean See, over. children Come show on. vibes. Shake that, the, shake that day off. This man is one of the greatest innovators and creative geniuses of all time. And, and it's time to get this party started. I'm so deeply excited to bring to the stage a man that's going to introduce Matthew McConaughey to you all. And it's the man that's really responsible for helping make an event of this magnitude possible. There's over 2 million of you guys from 155,000 different countries. 150,000 countries. Mm. <laughs> Are we including uh, Mars on this uh, tally? I'm assuming she meant 150. She said 150,000 countries. That's quite a lot. We've added more nations to the UN than I remember. And this man is one of the greatest innovators and creative geniuses of all time. And his name is Dean Gra <laughs> Wow, Dean Grazio, that's a big compliment. My God. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, what did she say? Is she going to introduce like... Thomas Edison over here or what's co who's coming out? Oh no, T Dean Graziosi. What has he done other than sell scam courses, you psychos? I know some of you in the audience already know Dean and if not, you're gonna fall in love with him. But this man is responsible for helping thought leaders just like Matthew reach the world through their message at a scale beyond what any other human has done. And some of the biggest events you've probably seen online in this category, self-growth, self-exploration, self-development say self-help because that's taboo now so it's self-growth instead we're actually orchestrated by dean and he's the brain behind the art of living this event so he's really the scammer behind it all he's the wizard of oz okay so blame him for the downfall of the world and here today in partnership with matthew and sure he's wrote new york times best-selling books he's been a part of building a ton of companies he's inc created incredible amounts of success but his claim to fame is three things number one great cook, third grade spelling bee champ, and huge promises that he made to his customers, okay? Get your heads out the gutters, everybody. Please help me welcome to the stage to kick this beautiful day off. It's Dean Graziosi! He's got a weird clap, too. Weird way to clap. McConaughey will be on in just a few minutes. I just want to jump in. <laughs> for those I'm meeting for the first time, hello. Yeah, he gets a lot of extra laughs, this guy. They, they really push the button on the laugh track to make him seem more engaging and, and uh, enjoyable. Hurt, pain, money and perfection. Hey, 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 I'm trying to focus over here. Can we, can we, like, background. like, I'm trying to do an opening here. Just give me a little background. <laughs> All right. Can we travel everywhere? I love this though. <laughs> Without further ado, Mr. McConaughey. Chaos. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm supposed to say something? This is a nightmare. Hey. Hey, <laughs> the guy sitting on the side, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo Thank you, Dean. Okay, here's his outfit. Needs an iron. <laughs> 
or a different shirt. Drumming to people's fears. <laughs> Here we go. Just a quick one. Letting go. Hurt. Pain. Money and perfection. Death. Death. Abuse. Being average. Yeah. My daughter. Forgiveness. I'm afraid of my daughter. <laughs> being alone. Burden. Losing it all. Yeah. I eat too much. Solitude. Irrelevance. I'm a burden. Abandonment. Trust. Being alone. The music does not match. Like, I'm afraid of being abandoned. It's like, that's like, come down to Applebee's. Come down to uh, Texas Roadhouse. We have a special on baked potatoes. Not like, share your deepest fears with the internet, <laughs> personally. But, hey, I'm no, I'm not the biggest creative genius of our time. Dean Graziosi, who made this event. Why are you here? You had a choice. You ain't got to be here. You be doing whatever you do every other Monday or any other time, but you're not. You're here. You made the time. You chose to take the risk, and you showed up. Thank you. Seriously, thank you for not being lazy with yourself. Right. Okay, you'd think like that moment is like from the heart. Like, oh, he's saying thank you. Like, oh, there's two million of us. Like, oh my gosh. Like, wow, he really cares. Like that was written into the script. None of this is off the top. Look, it says, thank you for not being lazy. You see that? So it's like, not like he, he, that was written in there specifically. And then he's got like notes and stuff over there. That's his view. This poor guy. He's just making a living. He's the only guy really living here. Making a living, if you know what I mean. Any sort of like, oh, I just want to share my heart. I'm a heart. I want to share my heart. Like it's not, that's just wiped away. <laughs> so, and like I said, all of it was in this delivery style. None of it is like, I just, I'm here. I want to talk. I'm here. I want to like discuss different topics. No, it is. No, that's again, this is because it's designed to attract the exact right gullible, unfortunately person to purchase the $400 course. So they have to make every word count it sucks because it's not real life. That ain't real living, baby. No one's come to save us. <laughs> I got some things that you reminded me of that I've got to start tending to that build my confidence more. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. We lack in supply that which we most demand. Yeah. Belief and a roadmap. Whew. What better? Which brings me to. <laughs> time to go deeper than right now with, with those two things and try and give them to you and you give them to us and let's. Let's get this revolution going. Yeah, my God, so good. And speaking of that, speaking of a roadmap, you know, we've been, we have been working eight months on this. Yep. Part is this event to put 2.4 million people together, all these people. There's 125, well, actually 300 people working on this event behind the scenes right now. It, it's an incredible operation. Y'all couldn't see it. There's a lot going on and has been going on for eight months to get to this right now. Yeah, and those late nights, it was part for this, but it was partly to go more. Mm. You know, it's that, that mm. transformation. I always looked at it as the book today, as amazing as today is, I hope you're inspired today. I hope this book inspired you. But inspiration only lasts a little bit. I learned that from Tony Robbins 25 years ago. Inspiration only lasts a little bit. We need transformation. You called it. The book was an approach. Yep. It was time for the process, what everybody was asking on you. Yep. So I'd love to share a little bit about what we've been working on as well as this for the last eight months because it's been a heavy lift. It has been a heavy lift. <laughs> and amazing. And worth the wait. I sure hope. Um, God, they're yeah, stretching so this so long. The, the word more keeps coming up, right? We've been talking about it. It's been in my verbiage. It's been in your verbiage. The word more has been around in our talks, and I think for good reason. Why? Because I think we can all agree that we all want and need more. Okay. So uh, we put a course together that starts defining even more in depth that more. 
Finally, they dropped it. Oh my God. It's like pulling the people's teeth out. Like, can you just say, I think he, maybe he's having regrets. Maybe he got some text messages from his friends that were like, bro, this is a mistake. Your career is about to tank into the ground. And I'm glad that there's been articles written about it that sort of agree with it, how bizarre this is, because I think maybe he knew at this point, because this face looks like someone who's in regret and has signed a contract that he can no longer get out of. <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't seem very confident in this delivery. You know, quantity is a more that so many people talk about, but if the quantity we reach for in life doesn't give us quality as well, aren't we using the wrong calculator? Yeah, absolutely. You know I mean, so how do, how, how do we become more ourselves? How do we get more value? Listening to what you have to say about your life, for sure, is how I become more of myself, definitely. Values. How do we have more choice? How do we get more balance? How do we have more joy, more love? And if we do all those things, wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> and ultimately, <laughs> I believe, Lord. by unpopular demand, that if we do all these things, that would be really? us being more selfish. Um, so we put this, this course together. It's called uh, Road Trip, the Highway to More. Uh, it has nine mile markers that go in depth on each one of those topics that are in chronological order. So when you do the course, you're going to come out the other side seeing the kind of a real change that you want in well, your life. Uh, I, I got I to commend you. I got to share. And in a minute, I, want, I get the, the pleasure, the, the privilege of being the first one to let you know what this man has worked so mm. hard on. Before we, before we go to that, I, I just want to share watching your work ethic, your depth of caring. Who Put it in the chat. We're watching. Who's felt this man's heart today? The energy. He doesn't need to be here. He wants yes, he to does. be here. He doesn't need to go beyond. He's got a bunch of acting roles, and he could just go down that road. But you kind of got bit with the, the, the book and seeing that. Yeah. And, and this is easier, I suppose, and more money, I suppose, and better for his ego, I suppose. I don't know why he's doing this either. I think he doesn't know why. And yeah. this kind of transformation that we need, I'll tell you, Tony and I have been doing this. I've been in this industry 27 years, Tony for over 45. Tony's got number one best-selling personal development course in ever, personal power. I've got a couple of the number one best-selling courses. But I'll tell you what you put together is going to change the game. It mm. truly is revolutionary. It's an evolution, mm. and it's the opportunity for you to, to go on a road trip with this guy. Let him ride shotgun, so if you don't... Let him ride reverse cowgirl <laughs> all night long, baby. Woohoo! Let's order. <sighs> yeah. Uh, revolutionary. Mine. I'm going to let them know what we did. You're going to let them know? I'm going to let them know. I'm getting out of here. You let them know. <laughs> Appreciate it. Guys... I wonder, and after watching that, him leaving, like, okay, <laughs> I wonder if he negotiated getting out of it halfway through, because I think it makes more sense for them to, like, discuss it together, but unless it, it, this was the plan from the beginning, but, like, that was awkward, and I'm not sold that he is behind this product 100%. Here we go again. Let's just watch this moment, this historic moment. We made history tonight, as they said in the email. Out here. You don't know. <laughs> Appreciate it. Guys, Matthew's going to be back in a few minutes here, but I get the privilege, I get the honor to share with you what this man has worked on for eight months because we're right. Today, I hope, is inspirational. Don't leave. They're trying to make it seem like eight months working on something is that crazy. Like, how long does it take to write a book? Like, probably a year or years, eight months. Like, okay, that seems pretty relevant to making millions and millions of dollars. Like, we slaved over this for eight months. Like, yeah, okay, but you're about to get a huge windfall and there was other income during that time. It's not that impressive. Sorry. There's so much. Tony Robbins is coming. Trent Shelton is coming. Uh, Matthew's coming back with an ending that'll blow your mind. But when today's over, sometimes we fall back into the hypnotic rhythm of our lives, right? We go back to where we were, even though we want to go someplace else. Right. And we thought of a way where you could have this man ride shotgun with you to build something immersive. Can't even call it a course. We're calling it an immersive learning. And this <laughs> I can't call it a course. We're calling it immersive learning because we've heard that course is a keyword that is associated with scam. So we're just changing it at this point. We don't call it self-help anymore because that's also associated with scams and manipulation. We're going to call it self-growth from now on. Okay, awesome. 
If you're going to get from where you are to where you want to go, you're probably going to need some help. Sometimes we get stuck. And at this phase, all this time with him, I think McConaughey is the perfect person to go along that ride with you. Can you pull this up, guys? It's Road Trip, the highway to more. Now, here's what we know. Ooh. Is in life, we need immersion. Don't we need to immerse ourselves? And said, we need to discover, immerse, and change. We also need repetition and momentum. We got to keep it going forward. We can't just go in today and hope tomorrow will change. You go to the gym for a weekend and be in good shape for the rest of your life, right? You promised one day free event was going to change my life. So that's a lie now. I need immersion, discovery, repetition, momentum, and community and accountability. What happened before? That's six hours was my life was going to be better forever. We also need community. Don't you love what Matthew's son said about, I don't know if you guys heard it when he was going off to camp. He said, dad, I just want to do cool things or meet, uh, do new things and meet cool people. How cool is that? That's what community and accountability is. So we what? took all this in mind, literally eight months. There's no exaggeration. Eight months, obsessive nights around a table to create something a shit. no one's ever done before. There it is. Road trip, immersive learning experience. Let me go through it real quick. Him on the bongos again. You get nine mile markers. Admit more. Got a little bit of taste of admit today. Who, who felt the admit in Matthew's first presentation like, shit, I got to admit. Well, that's just the first part of this course. You have video nonstop in each one of these mile markers. More you, how to find your identity. Be closer to. Okay, you see at the bottom, value 997. So nine video, or sorry, six videos. Reveal, revive. Admit more, more you, more value, more choice, more balance, more joy. Mm. To you, more value. How do you trust in your value so you give more value to receive more? Mm -hmm. Ah, more choice. This is so vague. More balance. Who needs a little more balance in their lives? More joy. More cool. More cool. More love. More <laughs> self. <laughs> I want to pay for a course to get more cool. That's how you get cool. <laughs> course. Or sorry, an immersive learning experience. Uh, more cool, more love, more selfish. Great. That's what we need. This is one of the most amazing courses. I, literally, I, we don't call it a course. It's transcended. It's going to change the game. And here's the cool part. He also built a 64-page immersive workbook that goes along with the course. This thing is unbelievable. The if you see this at anyone, anyone's house, immediately run out the front door. You are in danger. <laughs> okay, he's almost done. He's 64 pages, which is a $100 value. Everyone knows a, a, every book that's ever been at Barnes & Noble, that's 64 pages, is $97 at the least. <laughs> that's the going rate these days team worked in McConaughey on this night and day for months so you can create night and day we don't care path you can create your journey so you can lay out your road to more now here's the cool part a course like this again Tony and I've been doing this forever 65 years between us this should be a thousand dollar course and it's not oh. I'm just going to be oh, transparent with you it's Sorry. not McConaughey literally wants every single person that wants to have him help ride shotgun be a part of this and see it that everybody here has the opportunity then do it for free why is it four hundred dollars by the end of this this uh, sales pitch McConaughey wants everyone to do it okay not everyone has 400 bucks. And if you don't have 400 bucks, you shouldn't be spending it on this dumb shit. Becoming yourself. Come on. Get a grip, everybody. You're not going to become yourself by listening to someone else talk about themselves. You're going to become them at the very least, which is a horrible thing to become. Okay. Here we go. So that's worth $1,094 specifically. Where they came up with this number, <laughs> I would like to know. Why? Where did the 94 come from? Where did the four come from? It's all arbitrary once again. Okay, so that's, that's what it is. Now they're gonna be, give you bonuses. But let me tell you what else we did. Next, you're gonna have live, we just decided to do this a couple days ago. For the next eight weeks or so, and the next, the course, the first training starts next week, we're gonna get together as a family, do cool things together. It's a and family. And we're gonna walk through each of the mile markers together to keep you on track. And this is the man that can. He articulates in a way I've never seen. He makes it interesting, makes it fun but also challenges you. These courses are also challenging. This is not a, just a good watch. At the end of each one, he's going to make you do your homework and challenge you to change your life. How? He's going to come to my house? So you get eight weeks walkthrough. Okay. Then you get this private community. Okay. Change the game for you. I, 
Where are these testimonials from? This doesn't exist. This is innovative, immersive community that has not existed yet. So how are these people, how are they saying this? So I woke up to this wonderful big news this morning. I'm so happy because this means so much to me. Thank you. You rock. Okay, where's this from? Hello, soul family. I wanted to post and say thank you. Like this, this group does not exist yet. This offer has not been made, has not been given yet. So, okay. These, who are these people? Random people, AI people, who are they? Because you're going to be connected to this group, the people that you saw on the screen, but I get to see hundreds of you in front of me. You're connected to something bigger than yourself. That's an amazing package. Course, workbook, live weekly, and part of something bigger. But Tony and I, we've been doing this for a long time. We had so much fun partnering and working with McConaughey that we wanted to create something so irresistible. Now we're at 1591 with the weekly road trip pit stops, which is so expensive, and then priceless community access. During this event, that if you're thinking about it, you gotta say yes. And this is only for this event. We no, it's not, because I, I went on the website today and it's up until the 29th, so you can... But actually, I don't know about this part. I'm pretty sure this part is also part of the website, but we're going to look at the website in a second. So this is his uh, thing, mastermind.com. So they're going to sign you up for three months free. And then if you forget to cancel the membership, then you have to pay it for the next month for like 40 something dollars a month. It's like 48 or 47, um, which is their stupid website, which apparently is associated with Brendan Bruchard and everyone who went to that mastermind that I talked about um, where... Heidi and Dave announced their breakup at the time in Napa. It's all the same character. So again, if you've gone, gone to one of these seminars, you've seen them all. They all just circle jerk each other, you know, until the cows come home. We decided to give you three months free of Mastermind. Now that's a platform Tony and I created to have the immersion, have the repetition, have the accountability. And here's what we're going to do. You'll also get three monthly live trainings. Now, if you think about the weekly you're going to get, that's about the course. This is next level. These are deep dive. And I'll be live in May. In June, you'll have Marie Forleo back on how to have the big ask. Who'd like some more Marie Forleo? And here's a cool part. No. Just a couple days ago, Matthew McConaughey agreed to come back in July for a training to show you how he uses journaling to take his success to the next level. So you'll have lots. Uh, I put a pen on the paper and then I put my thoughts on it yeah I've been doing that for 30 years Woo! <laughs> okay thank you have a good night uh so now we got total value let me move out of the way da 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 three thousand nine hundred and sixty one doll hairs can you believe it for some online courses about from people who've already talked and given their best. What more can they possibly say? Well, we'll find out by paying money. Immersive learning at its best. You get to have this guy ride shotgun with you for the next three months, three years, as long as you want. It's yours for life. Imagine going through a tough time and say, I need more love. I'm going to go get McConaughey. I need more balance. God, can you imagine admitting to yourself, like, I need more love, and then opening up a Matthew McConaughey scam course? God, that's bleak. That <laughs> is bleak. Sorry. But here's the cool part. And only during our live, you can have road trip, the highway to more, for $397. Go to jointheroadtrip.com. I'd write this down because write it's it down. today. This is event only opportunity with Tony and I's bonuses, that price. And there's even a three pay. You can get started and have access to everything for $150 today. Guys, I feel so honored to be part of this to watch with this man so that becomes 300 450 dollars if you can't pay 397 up front you can pay 450 <laughs> slowly great put in i can't wait for you to get this course in your hands it is beyond that and i am so stoked that you have access to it so here's what we're going to do what? we're only halfway through tony oh. robbins is fired oh. up we got trent shelton if you don't know him you're going to need to know him and McConaughey's got an ending that'll blow your mind. Let's take a quick 10 minute break. Go get enrolled. Go get enrolled. Okay, so that's that's the pitch. Take the 10 minutes, get enrolled. Can't wait. Mm, I began to purge.
movie I made, A Time to Kill. Anybody remember that? Okay, A Time to Kill. I don't think I saw that one, that movie that he made, but this is in that time frame, if you're familiar with A Time to Kill. Well, it opened up on the weekend, a very successful box office and critical applause. And within 72 hours, that opening weekend, I suddenly became famous, a, a movie star. And I could green light movies in Hollywood. Everybody seemed to love me, and they even told me so out loud. Things that I had talked about before that nobody listened to. Now, not only were they listening to, but they were putting it in big, bold print. I was on the cover of a lot of magazines. Next to my face on the cover of GQ magazine, it even said, Matthew McConaughey saves the movies. Well, I didn't know the movies needed saving, but... Uh, I was on top of the world, right? Wrong. Negatory? No. I say that all the time, negatory. See, that, 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 that overnight tidal wave of applause and affluent had understandably thrown me off balance. Ironically, my confidence was very fickle. Because who talks like Why? this? Because I was confused, man. Nobody, nobody. I had a hell of a lot more questions than I did answers. Certain? I was not. Who the f*** talks like this? And I guess he's not lying. They're not, they're not hiding it necessarily that it's a script written, but it's just like... I thought this was supposed to be a cool time for cool people. Like, who's cool that reads you a script while they're speaking to you and in a hanging out conversation? You see, I didn't feel like I had earned the sudden success, the attention, the affection, the overnight fame. Mm. And I started to feel guilty about it. Why me? Jeez, do I deserve this? What's, what's real? What's not real? So I did what, in hindsight, I now know was a very smart thing. I got the hell out of Dodge. Whoop. I left Hollywood, and I went to a monastery in New Mexico whose invitation was, if you can make the 13-mile hike down the washed-out dirt road off Highway 11 to get here, pull the rope, ring the bell, and we'll find you a place to sleep. So I had a friend drop me off on the side of that highway. I made the 13 mile pilgrimage. I pulled the rope, rang the bell, and a monk named Brother Aldred answered the door. He welcomed me in. He said, why do you come here, brother? I said, brother, I got a lot of things on my mind, man. I, I, I need to talk to somebody. I need to, I need to confess. Go to the police station. He listened to me. <laughs> And then said, brother, I know just the right person for you to talk to. His name is Brother Christian. He'll meet you in the morning at sunrise. In a Christian. The next morning, Brother Christian met me at sunrise. He said, do you want to go for a walk, brother? So we did. Now on this walk... I began to purge. I confessed where and what I felt were sins of, of my mind, sins of my flesh, sins of my deeds. Newfound indulgences that were making me feel gross. Some of them make me feel like I just hadn't really earned them or deserved them. I went on and on and on with my confession. Brother Christian patiently listening as he walked beside me, hands behind his back, never saying a word. He never said one word. Four and a half hours later, me purging, confessing, him not saying a word, we circled back to the chapel where we sat on a bench. Me, I'm sitting there and tears are running down my face. And I got snot running out of my nose and I'm sitting there coming out of this purge. And, it, 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 and I finally wrap up my four and a half hour confessional rap sheet. Like, are you crying now or are you telling us you cried and you're showing us how you cried then? <laughs> I'm confused. Brother Christian has still not said one word. But now I'm finally done. 
Heads down, I'm wiping tears from my eyes, and I'm awaiting his judgment. He says nothing. 20 seconds go by. He says nothing. 30 seconds go by. He says nothing. A minute goes by. It's silent. Nothing. Finally, I looked up at him. He's 20 feet tall. And I see Brother Christian just staring at me. We just held each other's gaze, just looked look at each other's eyes for about 10 seconds. And the clock was ticking in my mind like I was just waiting on his condemnation. That's when he, he leaned slightly Getting ready? towards me. Ready for it? And he whispered. Me too. Thank you. I laid out on the ground, man. Tears all came back, but this time they were tears of relief, huh? forgiveness, joy. You see, that, that, those two words. Okay, so that weird ass story, <laughs> I don't know, got lost a little in translation, but I believe is meant to set you up to say, people in the group for this program we're about to sell in an hour, those are going to be your brother Christians. Okay. So those people are going to be the ones who like in the Facebook group, we're going to provide you are going to like validate your feelings and also have the same issues as you. So that's why you need those types of people. Just like Matthew had the monk, you can have Veronica from West Virginia who just joined this group for $400. Same thing. <laughs> okay. I said that was a very weird moment. Uh, okay. Are you okay, sir? Uh, uh, African tribesman dream. Here we go. Number 10, trust. In 1999, I just had a dream that I was floating down a river, naked, wrapped up in anacondas, sharks, piranhas, and crocodiles. And lined along the ridge of the river, there were thousands of African tribesmen, each holding a shield and a spear. And it wasn't a nightmare. Actually, it was a wet dream. No shit. <laughs> and it wasn't the first time that I'd had this dream. <laughs> I know, doesn't make sense. But... <laughs> and because it wasn't the first time that I had this dream, and because it was so peculiar and ironic, the elements in the dream and the outcome, I, I, I believe... Certain people in this world, I think, just think everything that they do is exciting, relevant, worthy of exploration at the highest degree. You know what? Go for it. Do it. If you get the money, if you got the resources like this dude does, who's to say you can't? But you had a dream twice, the, a wacky dream. You probably smoke a lot of weed, I'm assuming, or at least at some point of your life. He felt it necessary for the universe to continue to follow up on this dream. <laughs> I don't know. Anacondas, crocodiles, and African tribesmen. He's naked. They got spears on the Amazon River. Yeah, don't see a doctor. Definitely just follow this thread the way that he did. I believe that it had a message in it for me. A message I had to listen to. A message that I had to chase. But what was the dream telling me? And just where was I supposed to chase to? Well, the only point of origin... And the dream was the continent of Africa via the African tribesmen. Well, Africa's a That's racist. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just like, you know, there's black people in South America as well, <laughs> but okay. Big continent. Jeez, where do I go? A couple of nights later, I'm sitting in my hotel room, still trying to figure out a clue to help me chase the meaning of this dream down. And I was listening to my favorite musician, Ali Farka Toure. When one of my favorite songs of his. I was like, is that really your favorite musician? I never heard of him before. I'm sorry if that's your favorite musician, but he's like a, a guy from Molly who does like jazz music, I believe. But it was sort of like, oh, wow. Like, a you know, just kind of a obscure to me, at least musician. But OK, hey, go for it. This came on. It's called I Do. A-I-D-U. Now, this had long been one of my favorite love songs but I never really knew the exact meaning of it because the lyrics were in the African language of Bambata, of which I didn't understand. Like, is this, 
Is this really his favorite or he just is making this up for some reason? Because he told this story on the Danica Patrick podcast, which Danica Patrick is also like, woo, woo, doesn't trust anything but supplements that other podcasters, you know, sell. And she's very much into, you know, energy fields and aliens are visiting me at night, like that stuff, just FYI. Um and he told this exact story. So I feel like she's primed and ready for that type of content. So, you know, it doesn't really mean that this could not be fake. Now, I'd always thought that it was a romantic love song about a man and a woman, a couple in love. And for whatever reason, on this night there in the hotel, listening to him, I got curious to find out what that love song was about. So I got up, I grabbed the CD case and looked at the liner notes. This is what they read. This love song, this love song <laughs> read, the liner notes read this. Trust. Trust and faith in your fellow man has no equal. If you have experienced trust, you will know its strength. You must know yourself before you know others. It was a love song. Just, <laughs> just drops it on the floor. <laughs> not the one that I thought it was. Oh. It was a love song about trust. Let's talk about trust, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Okay. Um, so now we're going to skip ahead. That was basically that. Uh, he goes to Africa. Actually, we can keep playing it. He goes to Africa because of this uh, revelation that he's come up with. There's a love song about the great power of having faith in our fellow man. A love song about community, fellowship, about our need to know, have faith in, and trust ourselves. To be able to know, <laughs> trust have faith our in, and trust <laughs> Sorry. others. Well, that's when I thought, well, where's Ali from? I looked it up. Nia Funke Mali. I said, well, that's where I'm going to go. Trust that. Two days later, I was on a flight to Mali, Africa to find Ali. I did find Ali on that trip and many other truths that I, to this day, trust in. I don't get it. I get it. Talk I don't. Trust. We all seem to be in a constant battle with each other, with ourselves. Every day, we're in a cultural... Okay, so he goes to Africa. He learns something. He's not going to share that with us. He's just going to say he learned truths. <laughs> cool, thanks. Marie Forleo, what are you saying right now? All right, so he wraps it up, uh, shockingly, in the next little while. Then he tosses it to our girl, Marie Forleo, who started as someone who claims to have all the answers in business. She has a like $2,000 online business school called B School. And she's now turned away from the business C stuff, sort of, and now is into manifestation. And she's into teaching you how to live the best life, like the more general stuff, very similar to Jenna Kutcher left the, you know, business side of internet. And now is just teaching you life lessons because you can scale that infinitely because everyone is literally alive, I suppose. So uh, she's going to come up now. What you're about to learn, it's, it's so simple. It works like magic. And I promise you like pinky swear, it's going to help you eliminate any emotional or behavioral or thought pattern that's holding you back. Cool. Are you guys into this? Yes? Work is so overwhelming right now. There's just, there's so much on my plate. I've got this big Marie TV shoot coming up and, and we gotta hire more programmers again. And I've gotta create all this content on deadline. If I could just get. Oh. I have to hire people to make me millions of dollars again? I have to schedule a podcast episode for my multi-million dollar business that I chose to start and run and actually use at every turn as my key to success. Ugh, how horrible. I feel so bad for her. How did she overcome this? I had this, this awakening in my kitchen. It was one of those weird, like out of body experiences where I somehow- 
Oh yeah, this is also, so this technique is she's, the the advice is so stupid <laughs> that you have to say that it came from someone above her because her credentials are, I run a business that sells inspiration to people. Okay, so because her advice is so dumb, which she's about to give, it came from God himself or herself, as Rachel Hollis would say, or it came from source energy, the universe, something beyond Marie Forleo's brain. It came from the ether, okay? This is a way to automatically give yourself a lot of, what's the word, like uh, respectability or, prof- not professional, but like, um, I don't know what the word is. Like the advice that you're giving is not from you because you know you don't really have the credentials. It comes from a source beyond and it just was channeled through her. So when in doubt, say that God told you this advice. And that I think kind of lessens like needing to have <laughs> expertise. Now, this is what they think. And I guess it works for some people, but this is just like the tactic, I think. In an instant, I kid you not, this magical little phrase appeared in my mental theater, right? Like, I didn't think it up. I didn't try and create it. It was a mantra that flashed in my mind, and I feel like it was a gift from the divine or from my higher self. Here it was. Mm. You ready for it? And then I decided to monetize it on this <laughs> this Matthew McConaughey stage. Gifts from God. Monetize it immediately. I don't do overwhelm. I don't do overwhelm. The second I heard those words, I don't do overwhelm. I got to tell you, my shoulders relaxed. I felt this like, I don't do schizophrenia. And then I was cured. (laughs) Like, okay. Some people just are God's favorites, right? They get all the good advice that they can just sell immediately for millions of dollars. It's amazing. Some people get the wrong message, but some people just are blessed with the right ones. It must be because they wear the right sweaters on the right occasions. (laughs) That's her advice. Just tell yourself, I don't do overwhelm and you will no longer be stressed. That came directly from God. 400 pound weight lifted off of me. It was as if a portal opened up and I was shown this whole other possibility for how to live my life. It's ridiculous. And from that- A portal opened up when God told me, just don't be stressed, (laughs) question mark. (laughs) Just don't, babe, just don't, okay. After a few months of saying this, like over and over again, right, with conscious intention, overwhelm actually started to become foreign to me. It was as if someone asked me, like, hey, Marie, you know what? I want you to go murder your neighbor. I'd be like, no, what? Are you freaking bonker pants? I don't do murder. That is not a thing I do. What are we talking about here? I have, this is two and a half hours in. I was promised life-changing moments. I have seen people bang on drums and tell me they don't do murder. And I, you know, I'm just disappointed so far. I don't look like the personal, the, the speaker in personal development. He's going to introduce Trent. I have my opinion on him. I've watched a couple of his talks. He, he d- went to Rise several times, I believe, Rachel Hollis's conference. He's been around. He's on MLM conferences. His whole shtick from every time I've seen him is scream as loud as he can, make it sound like it's inspirational. And then literally they do like a preacher song in this one. Awkward as hell. He's just screaming, screaming, screaming. And I also think his hat is ugly. I'm sorry. He's got like dreads and he's got like good hair. And I I almost feel like, and I hate to say this, I almost feel like they did not allow him to have his natural hair shown for some reason. And I don't know why they would want that not to be shown, but the vibe I get because this hat is so large and awkward that it was some sort of like, I don't know, like we don't want to turn off like our conservative audience or something. I don't know. That is a leap. I'm just guessing, but because like, it doesn't make sense why he's wearing this hat otherwise. But here's his cadence. I'll give you a little preview and then we'll go to like the scammy part at the end. Just like you show off those custom made things, those one-on-one things, how about you start showing off yourself? Unwrap that beautiful gift of yours. And I don't care what limitations you're thinking right now, what excuses. Okay, so his role, like I mentioned, you just had the 10 minute break, right? Then you had Matthew McConaughey come back and like tell you like, oh, this is gonna be such a great course. Now, People who are saying no, people who said like, no, I can't afford it. No, I don't want to do it. No, whatever. But remember, you said in the beginning of the day that you wanted to change your life. Remember when you admitted all the problems that you have in your life? Do you really want to not change that? Because you just said that you wanted to, and now you're 
you have an opportunity. You have this $400 course that could fix your entire life and you're not going to take it. Come on. Like we need to get you in gear. That's what his role is here. Everybody put your hand over your heart real quick. Robert, oh, I see you up there, big dog driving. So don't put your hand over your heart. You okay, you're still doing it. I appreciate you. By the dog. Put your hand over your heart and I want to speak to your heart for a moment. <sighs> Man. Cue the music. I can't take this cheesy shit. I'm sorry. Never back down <laughs> when your back's against the wall. I'm sorry. It matters how many times you get back up, not how many times you fall. It's about your mentality. What's the point of dreaming a dream if you're not working to turn that dream into reality? So speak life into your life. I don't know, man. <laughs> speak life into your life. Right now in the chat, speak life into your life. Say, I am purpose. I am healed. I am free. What's that I mean? am me. I am my next level. I am greatness. Speak life into your life. Speak life into your life. As Marie said, I am not these things anymore. Speak life into your life. <laughs> Be your own motivation. <laughs> you see a legend? It's just an ordinary person. Zoom right into his With eyes. Extraordinary determination. So find a way and make one. Because we at the end, you just regret together. the chances you didn't take. I so find the courage myself. to take one. Your only limit is you. Yeah. Don't okay. surrender to your struggle. Make that struggle surrender to you. Yes. You see, pain is temporary, but yes. giving up is forever. Never settle. For good enough when you know inside you live something better you didn't come this far just to settle you didn't come this far just to accept whatever you came this far to take it to your next level you came this far to become oh, yeah. something greater you came this far to become something greater and i don't care what odds are stacked against you my friends you are highly favored so for your family for your life for your vision for this world don't you ever stop working teach you this <laughs> when the destination is worth reaching the path will always be perfect oh. but I promise you it's worth it I'm so proud of you now it's time for you to be proud of yourself like I always say it all starts with you it's rehab time. So buy the course. <laughs> Let's get it. While it's on my heart, I just want to say this before I bring Matthew back out here. This ain't no fluff, and I hope y'all feel my heart. But the team sent me the experience, as I call it. The program, the immersive learning. This honestly, no, I hate to say it, because I don't think that was bad. Like, it had some passion whatever i'm not into it personally but i understand why other people like it the fact that he can go into that so like seriously and then pitch like this that scares me because that makes me feel like like matthew mcconaughey leaving sort of like kind of like can't even face himself in the mirror of selling this bullshit like I think it's a little bit better. It's a little bit cowardly, but it's a little bit like, okay, he understands how cringe this is. But but Trent Shelton doing that whole like speech with the music and like, you believe in yourself and like looking above and put your hand on your heart and then gonna pitch now the course seems more nefarious to me personally. And I had to pick up my daughter, Marley from school. And I was like, I'm just gonna watch five minutes of it. I'm sure it'd be great. Well, that five minutes turned into the whole first module of 35 minutes. And I go to my daughter's school and I'm almost late. And my teacher was like, Trent, like, I had to wait. And I was like, well, I was watching some for Matthew McConaughey. She was like, okay, cool, that's okay. For Matthew, it's cool. But for everybody who signs up today, right now, takes ownership of their life, I'm gonna give you a gift for me. This is my baby. And I'm gonna give it to you. The self-worth method. Sure as a bonus. Self Just as a thank method. you for showing up for yourself and taking ownership over your life. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Let's take that road trip. I'll be in the backseat. Let's get Graphics it. Graphics rise up. This is filterless. You.
chose it. That was damn selfish of you. <laughs> Amen. Good night. Just keep living. He's like, I'm just getting out of here, man. All right, everyone. It has been a beautiful and incredible day. We've got our amazing back on the team drums. that has made this incredible event possible joining us here on stage. And we want to finish by saying thank you so much. Thank you for your willingness, your dedication to shift your plans, to change your schedules, to be here with us live and make history. Again, this was the first ever live event that Matthew McConaughey has ever posted. And you, my friend, were a part of it. A couple final announcements. Our VIPs we're going to get started in 15 minutes from this moment. God, they don't get a break, man. Six hours straight, they got to go to the VIP. I guess to make millions, you got to just work your booty off. And then they all do like a thing. Dance, dance, dance. Matthew's like... I don't think Matthew knows where he is anymore. Based on this. Here, I mean, don't listen to the music, but he looks like he's lost. Like someone has to guide him to his green room at this point. What is he doing? He's like, don't touch. Don't touch my bongos. Okay, you can touch them, but I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get something out of it. Okay, that's gross. <laughs> is that his wife? Okay, that's his wife, I think. Oh man, wow, what a ride. What a ride it was. What a ride. What do you think, Kitty? Maybe, maybe we are on to something <laughs> and we're doing and not important work, but like we're getting closer to like people not getting ripped off. Like people are becoming more aware in the mainstream. Like, you know, people who like self-help or, or were in self-help and then got out seem to be very attuned to what's going on. But someone who just likes Matthew McConaughey may never have known who Tony Robbins was or Dean Graziosi was and know the ins and outs. So the fact that even those people are starting to go, this is a scam. Yes. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> That's all I have to say.